Well, I'm Philly Collins. And I'm Marino Tanaglia. And we are the Philly and Marino Experience. And you're listening to Wrestling Cheers. Taking your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And welcome back to Wrestling Cheers, where everybody knows your name, especially 20 years later. This is Wrestling Cheers. We like to talk about things going on in the Northeast Ohio independent wrestling scene. We preview shows, we review shows, and sometimes we even have interviews along the way. This is a preview episode for this Friday's show from AIW Gauntlet for the Gold 14 from the St. John the Baptist Byzantine Hall in Parma, Ohio. Byzantine. Byzantine. Byzant- whatever. <laughs> Byzantine, Byzantine. You tried. Turpentine. Anyway, <laughs> I am your host. Justin Summers and Wrestling Cheers is brought to you by the Trending Topics Network, Midwest Territory, and Key on Sports. Please rate, review, and subscribe if you're ever listening to this fine podcast, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or Podbean, WrestlingCheers.Podbean.com. You can find us on all your social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Facebook.com slash Wrestling Cheers, Twitter.com slash Wrestling Cheers, and Instagram.com slash Wrestling Cheers. Email, if you so choose a desire, Wrestling Cheers at gmail.com, and we have the merch store over at Webmaneuver. Dot net. It is gauntlet for the gold time. So, well, everybody's already talked. So first up, uh, we have Caden. Hello. How's it going? Uh, we're doing. It's gauntlet season again. A little later than normal, but still. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Don't like it. <laughs> this whole year is just weird. Everything's off. Don't like it. Don't like it. And making her return to the show, proving that she can be on more than one podcast episode, we have Pam. Hey. Finally. Ha- back. Yeah, finally happy <laughs> to have you back on. Didn't want to be like, hey, we're going to have a woman on here, and then nothing. Never again. Yeah. <laughs> but. No, my my work schedule ended up getting changed, and, like, I'm on mornings now, so I'm actually able to do the podcast, like, more now than I was before. So hopefully I'll be able to be on some more episodes soon. And also, you were supposed to be on the year end review episode, but. You gave up your spot to Stacy. That's right, yeah, because the iPhone 8 or whatever that he has. Oh my god, my cat is in my... Oh my lord. Anyway, um, the iPhone 8 that he had, there was like something wrong with it, so he had to use mine. Yeah, that was... It was a, it was a very crazy night, and then you're just like, fuck it, just use mine. Yeah, that, that was something else, for sure. So... Finally back on, so what a great show. Gauntlet for the Gold 14, one of, definitely one of my favorite shows of the year, mainly because of the Gauntlet for the Gold itself creates a lot of fun moments. So I, I'm guessing we're going to still have a Gauntlet for the Cache, which is always a fun, fun experience. People buying numbers and then having their hearts and souls crushed when some oddball person comes out and you just go, yeah, I'm definitely losing this one. <sighs> Yep, every year. In, like, the year that I won, I think there was only one gauntlet for the cage. Now, they're, like, last year, a couple years, have been, like, two or three, if I'm correct. Uh, not that I, I only know of one year that I saw that there was two. When was that? Was it last year? Or no, that was when a certain fan bought many numbers, like, I- 14 numbers, expecting to win money. What fan was this? Ricky Duncan. <laughs> okay. Had it all figured out. I was going to buy you know, like half the field. Win that money. Still lost. Yep. And meanwhile, the year that I won, I was the first one to buy one. And I picked the winning number. And what number did you have? One. Yep. <laughs> I, if I'm correct, that gauntlet is on uh, independentwrestling.tv. IW.tv. Is that, is that the new abbreviation we're doing, IW.tv? Cause I just say it's a lot easier to say. Yeah, I was just trained to say the other one for a while. 
Uh, <laughs> that's dead now. All right. You don't acknowledge that timeline. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our, our normal format when it comes to these previews is we've picked three matches to talk about, and then we will then go over the whole card, which really not a whole lot of matches, but it seems that one of them is the gauntlet. It's probably why there's not as many. So we're going to start with, let's start with the match that kicked off gauntlet for the gold match announcements and just the, the, the first flyer, the 20 year anniversary, Josh Prohibition versus M-Dog Matt Cross. If you've been around AIW long enough, you've seen these two go at it at some point, one way or another. I don't know when the last time they went against each other in some form. Caden, that's why I have you here. Can you recall when that was? I want to say Absolution 10 that's would what, be the last time I can remember. That's what I was thinking, because that was... I mean, technically, that started off with M-Dog and J-Pro, and then it like evolved into... Yeah, if we were getting real technical here. Yeah. I know what turned into that main event match, which is crazy. Cause I think what, what year was Abso 10? 2015. Okay, that was before my time. That's what I thought. If you get a chance, go check it out. The main event alone is worth it. Like, what was it? A, was it a 10-man or 12-man? Oh, uh, 10-man tag. 10-man tag, yes. A 10-man tag in quotes. It's a street fight. Yeah. Ah, uh, gotcha. I've checked it out. Real fun. I think it was it was touted as the like most expensive match in AIW history. Oh, and when you look at who was in that match, you could understand why. Yeah. If you really look at it, see everybody, all but one person in that match has risen to top level status. And that one person doesn't even wrestle it. Yeah, yeah I know. That's, I'm, I'm leaving it at that. <laughs> but when you have guys like Gargano... Joe, EC3, Ray Rowe, DJ Z, Young Bucks. Uh, Just that match. So good. Looking at it now, it's even crazier. And when, I know when people, I've said many times before, when people ask me, like, oh, what's your favorite AIW match? That's, like, one of the, the best ones. I mean, I have other ones that I like for comedy reasons, but when it comes to, like, you'll never see it ever again, that's top of the list. Right. And Joe was under WWE contract at the time that that happened. Yeah. I think that was, I don't think that he was the, we were the last stop, but we were close to it. It was what, the day before Jaylet, he debuted uh, on NXT, or two was it two days before, and they already had him booked for Abso, and in between his Jaylet appearance and Abso, he signed. Gotcha. So Josh Prohibition and M-Dog Matt Cross... Oh, yeah. 20, like I said, their 20-year anniversary. They probably had this match, I don't know how many times, but this is going to be so good. And J-Pro is, he's on his, I don't know how many have come back to her, but I feel like he's trying to get out there more. Didn't he just get, isn't he going to be at Alpha 1, too? Correct. Like, the resurgence of J-Pro, I freaking love it. 20 years in. Yeah, well, well it's resurgence, so he, he had a little bit of the peak at the beginning with... You know, backyard wrestling and XPW and all that shit. What are your thoughts on this match, Caden? The fact that these two have been going at them all they have for, as of, I believe, Thursday, or Wednesday, excuse me, for 20 years is wild. I'm very excited to see what they pull out in this match. Probably some stuff you haven't seen out of them for a minute. Um, Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be nuts. What do you think about it, Pam? Oh, man, this is going to be a good one, um, since I personally haven't gotten to see them wrestle uh, each other, at least. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a great match to get to actually see in person, finally. Um, I know what each one of them can bring to the table, and to see two friends go at it, it's, it's going to be personal as hell, and they're going to leave it all out there, and I can't fucking wait. Will there be a parents? By Grandma Cross. Oh, they're fucking better. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like, does does she root strictly for M Dog, or does she show a little bit of like compassion for J Pro? Because we got to figure there's there's history there. If Grandma Cross has been around, you know, M Dog's whole life, so a lot of you know at least the twenty years of this career, I kind of want because Grandma Cross is the wild card. When it comes, <laughs> she's a wild card in general. Um, ringside, if you get lucky enough to sit by her, take a brief moment and watch her reactions 
to M Dog. I fucking love it. I think there, there's a. I know I've said it before. There's a video deep on the the Wrestling Cheers archives um, on the Twitter. I'll probably pull it up. I'll try to like post it on Instagram or something. But oh my god, like she is so into it, and that's all to me. That's awesome. Like I'm, I don't. I forget exactly how you know how old M Dude is, but fuck. Like, and I guess she's all like his whole life. She's always been that supportive, and that's that's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, she seems like she'd be a cool gal to be around at the shows. Um, I kind of hope that I do get to sit near just because. And uh, kind of hope that in a way that she's, like, kind of nice to J-Pro. But then, on the other hand, I kind of want her just, like, slap him. You want the full Grandma Cross experience if yeah. you're getting anything? Yes. Mine is her chugging a beer. Yeah, I pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Unless we can make that happen. Wouldn't complain. <laughs> That'd be fucking... Crazy thing is, too, like, you know, she's been coming around, like, almost... She, I mean, she doesn't come around, like, every show, but I remember, I think, my second AIW show she was there was in, you know, M-Dog's mom was there, too. And being the 20th anniversary, I do think it's it's guaranteed. It's going to be fun just with her there. And, oh, my God. It's, yeah. <laughs> she needs to be put on the flyers. <laughs> Sell some tickets. I mean, yeah. Outlet for the gold featuring Grandma Cross. <laughs> All right. Uh, another match we have been going from, like, especially with these two. How about the AIW Intense title match? Matthew Justice, or Matt Justice, whatever you want to call him. Sometimes I still call him Matthew or Matt. Versus Joshua Bishop. Fucking Ooh. A. Who boy. Have we, have we seen this match before or no? No. Okay. So, two of the like the best wrestlers in AIW, just of the impact they've made. I mean, th- these two are up there. Like, obviously, Lawler's up there now, being the absolute champion. But the progression, we're and we still have little baby Joshua Bishop on this flyer, this this uh, match graphic, and then Matthew Justice. What the destruction he's been doing? This is ooh, this is it's gonna be good. This oh, is no. This is almost as crazy as the next match we're going to talk about, but we'll wait for that one. Fuck. <laughs> Easily. Like, we're not even all the way four months into this year. I'm willing to bet Joshua Bishop versus Dominic Greeny is going to be a contender for match of the year, if not outright by everybody. And now... Versus <laughs> Matthew Justice? No, no. I, 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 what are we, we referring to both there? Was talking, like... Bishop versus Dom was match like All right. what we've seen so far. Match of the year candidate might win it. Who knows? But put it, now having this m- match to follow it with the the craziness of Matthew Justice. Yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> fuck, Joshua Bishop. Worried. Joshua Bishop could walk out intense champion. I don't see why not. Not picks part, but oh, this is this is going to be a good match. What do you think about it, Pam? Man, so. I love Matt. I love Josh. It's very, very, very difficult to, like, pick them apart. But these two are going to destroy fucking everything in their path. And I don't sit by me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I it just, it just stays a fucking magnet. Just don't sit by us. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, this is going to be insane. Josh tried lighting Dom on fire for fuck's sake in Jersey. Like, Matt is just an insane son of a bitch. They're, oh my god, it's just, there are no words for this match. All I can say is, I'm excited, and I hope Kenny Wang is there in some capacity, <laughs> so he can be screaming for Josh. Because <laughs> that is a match component that we need. Now, is he going to root for Josh, or is he going to root for Justice? Oh, yeah. He's going to be split. Damn. Yeah, that's true. This would be the one time he's just dead silent. The only way to make this match worse for him if he was there would be adding Tim Donst. <laughs> right. He, he'd just be sitting there yelling at himself the whole match. But yeah, like, Bishop is such a fucking beast now. Like, <laughs> these these two are just going to go insane. And oh my God, this charge might not have us back. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, I had to laugh because you called... 
Joshua Bishop a beast right after talking about Kenny Wang, who Well, that's why I said it because I'm in Kenny's <laughs> I'm in Kenny mode now. Like <laughs> fuck a beast <laughs> Fuck a bishop <laughs> God <laughs> Sorry, I had I had to go Kenny there for a minute. How are you feeling about this match, Caden? Sad because you can't make weapons? <laughs> That's next month. <laughs> or, are, or, or are you making weapons? I was going to say, that sounds like he's making weapons, <laughs> bruh. You never know. <laughs> I mean, that or your... Just because your... it's, it's not the rap show doesn't mean I can't make things. Oh, uh, because uh, it's April. You're you're in that, that tune of, like, I've got to make weapons. Correct. <laughs> and these two are insane, so... Hmm... <laughs> I've said it once and I'll say it again. Just the transformation of Joshua Bishop from day one to now is just night and day. I think he posted a side by side picture of, you know, when he first started to now. And I was like, it still feels like two different people. And I, well, childhood it's, death. It's, like, it's even like watching two different people. Yeah. Fucking love, love this match. Oh, this, I mean, this is going to have to be later in the show. This almost has to be maybe the match before the gauntlet. Yeah. It kind of has to be. Actually, I, I can't even say that. We're not going into picks yet, but a lot of these matches have something behind them, whether it be the craziness of having MJF and Shane Douglas in the ring together and what will happen with, with those two in the ring together to, you know, m Dog and J-Pro, like we just talked about, the match we're going to talk about next. We have the, also the uh, tag team match, the DJZ's farewell AIW match. There's... A lot that could go right before Gauntlet, but I think if I were to pick one, this this could be it. Or fuck it, let's start the show with this. Let's just start with fucking Anarchy. Start off hot. <laughs> Jesus. Any other thoughts on this match? Yeah, someone will probably die. <laughs> well, we're not getting into picks yet, because if you say who's going to die, then we know who's going to win. <laughs> so, speaking of death, which would be by murder and Good death. Good little segue there. And kill. Eddie fucking Kingston versus Nick fucking Gage. Holy fucking shit, motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Uh, there was a lot of fuck in that. <laughs> oh, like when I seen this graphic, I was like, no. Wait, why haven't we had this match sooner? This is going to be fucking amazing. This did happen. Not in AIW, but it has happened once before. And I've wanted this in AIW since I've seen this match for a different company. What company? I have now a company that shall not be named. It's not <laughs> a good company. Wait a minute. Cage and Kingston weren't in Prime Wrestling. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> we can acknowledge them. Yeah, we can acknowledge them. They've been dead for five years. Almost five years. Wow. That's nuts. Yikes. Or no. Four or five years. It's 2000. All my years are starting to blend together. It was 2013. Wow. Anyway, Ugh. back when Caden was 14. Back when I didn't make weapons. Oh, yeah. I miss innocent little Caden with his Johnny Gargano hey, shirt. Hey, stuff anymore. With, with his Johnny Gargano shirt on, his Johnny Gargano sign, and John Cena headband. Don't remember the headband thing ever. You had, you had, you had a headband you, or a hat. We talked about this. You had something Cena on. I don't probably remember. Probably once. You, it says like this was every single show. <laughs> That's what I remember. That's Baby Caden. Now I bring light tubes to shows. <laughs> if you bring light tubes to a show, the wrestlers are relieved because you didn't bring your weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, there's stuff in the works for the rap show. Oh, I apologize to Eric Ryan, but he's probably happy. But Eddie Kingston and Nick fucking Gage. Caden, <sighs> let us know what you think. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. <laughs> so much yes. Considering I'm going to Bethesda as of this recording tomorrow and getting back the day before this show. Wow. I will be in need of this match. Wow. I told them I could not stay till Friday specifically because <laughs> of the <Bonnet. laughs> Listen, I, I, I know that... <laughs> Aiden and uh, I need to be back for wrestling. So not the first time I've done that. <laughs> treatments up? Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> not the first time I've done it. <laughs> I know this medical shit is important, but there's a wrestling show that's like calling my name, so I got I, I have to be back. This is ver this is life or death in a different way. I have to go. <laughs> I see Nick Dangerous Eddie Kingston. <laughs> They're like the last last time you went to a, a wrestling show from 
from uh, the hospital, the the company shut down. <laughs> <laughs> was that the, wait a minute? Was that the company we're not allowed to talk about? No, we can acknowledge them too. Okay, so many companies. The other company is black and yellow. Oh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. NXT. They, they had to match an NXT. <laughs> Oh my! Eddie Kingston and Nick Cage, main event of NXT. I just want you to picture that, that. full sale. Nick freaking Gage. Oh yes. my lord! For the kids. <laughs> what would what would MDK be if they had the WWE it up? You know what I mean. Hmm. Maim. Uh, what's another D word for death? Decease. I don't know. It would just be the Nick Cage experience. <laughs> worst oh i should have like put a poll or like made a tweet about it or something i called that shit last week that they would end up changing the name of the viking experience no they're the viking raiders yeah i called that shit i was like i guarantee you by next raw it's gonna be a different name i, I haven't what be next week i haven't checked the nfl schedule but i'm looking forward to vikings and raiders <laughs> I hope it happens. I mean, eventually. Every team faces every team at some point. That's true. Football's dumb. <laughs> hey. It is not dumb. You shut your face, whole child. Stupid. It's fake. <laughs> I do have a weird a weird pet peeve when wrestling fans, and there's one in particular who would always be really bad at this, every time something big sports thing would happen. Oh, football's fake. Oh, baseball's fake. Oh, basketball's fake. Literally... <laughs> Every time. Are we naming names? Yeah, so... Ha, of course that's who it is. Uh, people won't know that... I stopped the recording for a second and told everybody who it was. Just because I want to say it. Anyway, um, <laughs> enough going off on little little tangents. Uh, uh, Eddie Kingston, Nick Cage. Any more we need to say about that? Any more? Do you have anything on it, Pam? So, Eddie is by far one of my all-time favorite uh, wrestlers at AIW. He... As he should be. Yeah. Oh, I know. But like, I don't. I don't know what it is. But like, I fucking love Eddie. And if this is his last year, it's gonna make me real sad. But like, to get to see him wrestle Nick fucking Gage, like, also love Nick fucking Gage. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Like, John loves fucking booking matches of like my favorite people, <laughs> and it's so hard to like get ground on shit but like i they both have a style and they huh nick might kill eddie eddie might kill nick i I don't i don't know what's gonna happen but it's gonna be good Mm -hmm. my hope is that they come together at the end of the match and make a pact to find tim donst and murder him because (laughs) there's been two feuds that Donst. there's been two Two feuds that Donce has had that have been fucking nuts. And it's been against Eddie Kingston, and it's been against Nick fucking Gage. And the Eddie one still just kind of is there. Yeah. The one thing that... That would be fantastic. The one thing that I really love about Nick Gage, not Nick Gage, but Eddie Kingston, and I feel like we don't we don't see it as much anymore. Caden, you'll appreciate this. Do you remember when there would be like a certain period of time that Kingston wouldn't be booked, so he would, like, have a reason to quit the company, <laughs> and then he'd eventually come back. <laughs> That's happened quite a few times. Cuts cuts a little promo that he thinks is shoot, just tearing apart shit, and he's like, I quit, fuck this shit, and then, you know... How bad Cleveland is, how bad AIW is. Talk shit about Gargano once, I remember, and, yeah, then, you know what, six, nine... Months later, maybe even a year, boom, pops back up, and Teddy fucking Kingston again. It sounds real simple, but it's quite entertaining. Oh, so, I loved it. Not that, that Eddie was leaving, but, like, he'd always just cut these fucking promos, just <laughs> berating whatever, and then eventually, boom, here's Teddy Kingston, he's back. It could be something just as simple as saying Cleveland is not good, but the way he did it was fantastic. <laughs> God, I love it. All right, so let's go to a quick commercial break. And we'll be right back with the rest of the card. (laughs) 
What's up, everybody? This is Alex Worldwide Keller coming to you live here for a thrift store. Wait, it's not thrift store driver? Wait a minute. Wrestling who? Wrestling Cheers, where everybody knows your name. I know my name. It's Alex Worldwide Keller, and you're listening to Wrestling Cheers. And I want to tell you all about Wrestling Cheers t-shirts at whatamaneuver.net. It's a heck of a shirt because where everybody knows your name and wrestling is a game and the game is pain. And pain is what we feel and what we feel, it's real. Whatamaneuver.net, wrestling cheers. Do it up for your boy, Alex Worldwide Killer. Are you tired of the same old pro wrestling? Then check out the amazing action on Powerslam.tv, the biggest indie pro wrestling channel in the world. Get over 4,000 hours of the best pro wrestling events from over 110 of the biggest names in the industry from over 15 countries around the globe. Get your free trial today at Powerslam.tv. All right, let's get into the rest of the matches on this card. And let's start with, I mentioned this earlier, MJF versus Shane Douglas with Francine. Uh, if I'm going to pick somebody here, it's got to be MJF. But this match is going to be fucking awesome, too. Uh, I, I love MJF. Uh, Pam, are you going to bring your, your scarf? Ooh, I... Uh... I think it's actually in my car, so I will make sure I dig it out, and uh, I definitely will bring it inside, because, yeah, if I had to make a pick here, it would be for MJF, and I'm going to pull for him. Um, but I'm actually kind of excited to see Shane Douglas in a way, too. Um, I've never, like, really watched him when I was younger or anything like that, when he was on TV and everything, but, like, he's actually from my area. He's from New Brighton. And I'm from Beaver Falls, and I was, like, there have been, like, articles about him and stuff like that, so I'd always read about him, but, like, to actually get to see him in person and stuff like that was be pretty cool. How about you, kid? Cool to see Shane Dog was back in AIW after three years. No, I think it's, I think it's two. You could be right, though. It could be three. The years are blurring together. It has I'm... to be at least three, because I've been going for almost two solid. It was a summer bar show that he was at. I don't at. remember I ever seeing him. It was Klovic, yeah. Sure. I think. Who do I'm you like ninety nine percent sure. Who do you replace? Uh, either Grado or Myers. Myers. It was Myers. Because both of them had to pull off the show. Yep, you're right. But I remember it was Myers because I remember as soon as you said that, like the link made sense because I think that was supposed to be his last AIW booking, and then hey, he's mm, he's gone. Didn't happen. Ooh. The, yeah, good to see him back. Hell yeah. And with Francine. It's all like MJF. And yeah, it's a, like a legitimate ECW kind of vibe this time, which is super cool. Will you be doing this meet and greet or is that a dumb question? <sighs> Surprisingly this time, I will not be. Wow. Wow. You're normally like good for almost every single one. Or is it you're still kind of tapped out a little bit from... It's a little bit of that. Primarily. And then you just went down to Remix on top of it. Yeah. Kind of hurting for money. But don't get, Shane Douglas is a super cool meet and greet. Take advantage of it. We got lucky because at the, the show that he came to, he did he was doing free pictures with yeah. anybody. He's like, oh, I'm like cause I, I don't know whether he just he didn't have anything to sell or whatever. And he was like, yeah, you know, free pictures. And I was like, all right, I got to do it then. Next up, we have the farewell DJZ match what was the last AIW match. DJ Z versus Flip Kendrick versus Deranged versus Gringo Loco. I think I'm going to go Gringo. How about you, Caden? Oh, boy. Oh. I'm actually going to go with Flip on this one. Wow. But let me tell you, this match. Oh, boy. <laughs> we were we were talking about... I am excited. We were talking a little before we were recording that it kind of, not say it like sucks, but like imagine if you had like facade in this match and Lewis Linden in this match, especially with the history of, you know, DJ Z and, you know, Flip Kendrick. Yeah, it, there was, there's a lot of ways they could have gone with this, but this match itself is fine and I'm hyped for it. It's going to get real dumb. It's going to be a bunch of flips. Be prepared to probably have a wrestler end up in your lap. <laughs> Maybe two. Who knows? How about you, Pam? 
Um, I'm going to go with EJZ, but I kind of just want to throw this out there. I tweeted about this the other day. I, just for one last time for it being DJZ's last show, would love if Traxler played <laughs> Gringo's old music when he comes out. Because <laughs> I'm a mark, and I, I want to hear it one last time. The funny thing is, I want to hear DJZ's or Shima Zion's AIW thing. Yes. Like, if we hear that, I'll go nuts. Because <laughs> that one was probably one of my first favorites. I forget the dude's name. I have to look it up. But it's basically a um, gold dust theme with a dude rapping over it. Oh, okay. I would say, I don't think I know. He hasn't used it in quite a while. Yeah. Basically, once he became DJ Z, he kind of stopped using it. He might, have had, he might have had one or two shows that he did it, but definitely when, like, when he went into full DJ mode, yeah, that was gone. Yeah, that theme died real fast. You think we'll get that one weird horn during the match? Yeah. Yeah. You have to. You <laughs> fucking have to. I know this is the because I'm not. I know I'm not going to do the the one meet and greet for Douglas and Francine. I'm probably going to do one more picture with DJ Z though because I think the one I have from with him is like Turner's All Days and that's forever ago. Let's move on to the tag team title match: Two Infinity and Beyond versus La Familia de Tijuana. I'm scared that La Familia de Tijuana could win, but I'm just going to go with the safe bet because LOL to Infinity Beyond wins. <laughs> Bitch, you literally took what I was going to say. <laughs> I was just about to say LOL to Infinity Beyond wins. But yeah, that's, that's definitely my pick as well. Um, yeah, that, that's a scary thought that they could win, um, but it's not right. So, it, Caden. It's just not happening. So, Caden, you're going to be picking your favorite tag team, right? To Infinity and Beyond? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> enough of this. This is 2014. It's enough. It's time to stop. <laughs> to deal with this in 2014. Enough! They had the titles longer than that, though. Or are you saying we've been dealing with it since 2014? They've been teaming since 2014. Wow. It's time to stop. See, I just, I've always said it. I want to see uh, Cloudy and Jimmy Olsen. Yes. Have, have yes. them t- t- team for a show against them. I want to yell at Cloudy some more. Bring him back. Is that your favorite one to yell at? He's he's just one to yell at. I don't know why. You you have your handful of ones that you would yell at a lot. Like He's one of them. Is it, was Brett Banks the other one? Or no? He was. Then Cloudy happened. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like one of six people that recognized who he was when he debuted. So I just it went from there. There's four shows. Next up, we have the 20th anniversary, Josh Prohibition versus M Dog Matt Cross. I'm gonna go J Pro. How about you, Kate? I'm I'm gonna go with Cross on this one. I mean, there really isn't a right or wrong answer. I mean, well, someone's yeah. gonna win, but it's it could go either way. How about you, Pam? I'm going M Dog. I'll go. I'm to see Prohibition back in AIW for the first time since Absol. Probably. Is that when you wrestled Josh? Yes. They wrestled a bunch last year, so I believe that was the show. Speaking of Josh, intense title match, Matthew Justice versus Joshua Bishop. I'm calling it new intense champion, Joshua Bishop. How about you, Caden? I second this one. I think Bishop's winning the belt. How about you, Pam? Oh, boy. I think Josh wins the match, but Matt retains. Some fuckery will happen. I mean... That's a, that's plausible. And a definite loophole, which still means, well, I, I did say new champion, but. Cause, yeah, that's that's what, I, that's what I'm going with. Matt will stay champion, but Josh will win the match. Unless Bishop wins and you see Justice pop up in another match later tonight or for the show and win that. That's what Caden wants to see. My theory. All right. Uh, next matchup. We already talked about it. Eddie Kingston versus Nick fucking Gage. Here's the thing, too. Like, these two, I feel like they lose an awful lot. But no one really notices that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the point behind it. Mm. I'm going to go Gage. It's a tough one. But I'm going to go Gage. How about you, Pam? Oh. <sighs> um, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to go Eddie. I 
I <laughs> I love Gage. Don't hate me, Nick. MDK. Um, but <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with Eddie on this one. How about you, Caden? <laughs> that guy go with Gage. <laughs> All right. And then last match, we have the gauntlet, and we'll start with one of two picks. Well, one's not necessarily a pick, but who do you guys got winning this? I'm gonna go Dominic Greeny. How about you, Caden? I'm sticking with my theory from a couple months ago. <laughs> Justice loses the intense title, as I said, wins Gauntlet. How about you, Pam? Um, I was leaning. Uh, it was a fifty-fifty between Dom and Bishop. So, <sighs> if I had to pick just the one, probably go Josh. All right. The next one. This doesn't necessarily a pick. Any? Do you think there'll be any surprises? And if so, who? Because Gauntlet can bring bring some good surprises, whether it be what's that? As it brings people out of the woodwork. That was when we seen like facade return, which was a big one. Um, sometimes you get some throwbacks, whether you understand who they are or not. Um, Wasn't that when Gary J returned? That was the rap show. Esther. Yeah. Oh, was that the rap show? Okay, I thought it was Gauntlet. Hey man, Gary J is real cool. Okay. That was the first time I'd ever seen him wrestle. Who knows? He might even show up. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> is is Marion Fontaine considered a surprise? Because, I mean, he's been in 13 straight gauntlet for the golds. I think for those that don't know the history behind it, yes. <laughs> and for he, people that do know the history, no. Will we be ready? <laughs> Never. For... Never. For Razor Sharp. <laughs> Nobody's ever ready for Razor Sharp. Will the, the Triple H of AIW NXT get called up for his Royal Rumble moment? <laughs> All I know is if I hear that music, I'm marking the fuck out. Chairs might get thrown. It's going to be something. Any other surprises you probably you guys could... I sort of think of, like, who would you like to see? I never try to really think of any. I just go into it and get surprised by whoever shows off. Yeah, with everything being so crazy now, people running, like, on Fridays and shit, you never know who you're going to end up with anymore. So I'm just, I'm here for it. Surprise me. It's more fun just going into it, not really having any expectations for surprises. And whoever ends up showing up, shows up. I have, yeah. I do have one surprise I would love to see. And it's something we haven't got to talk about on this show. Number 30. I would love to hear the remix to Kanye West's Monster and Out Comes, Josh Alexander. Good that you remember that. Oh, I, after I heard his theme and I looked it up, like, that's my favorite version of that song. I love it. it has a Glad he's finally able to be back in the States again after how many years? Yeah, I was going to say, I just saw that. I saw it after he posted it, and it was just like, oh my, like, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening. And then I thought, hey, Impact, can you um do me a favor and hire Silesia Sparks? You know, yeah, we're almost good. How many? Do you know what? The, how many more years? Two more? No, it's this September. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. I'm like 99 percent sure it's this September. Okay, so Impact Wrestling, hire Silesia Sparks. <laughs> Ain't damn much longer. And Wait. No. <laughs> get her a working visa or whatever they need. Get you Impact Wrestling. You do that. I love you. I love you a long time. Go, <laughs> go Impact. Go Impact. Everybody sucks. Impact number one. Impact is the best. <laughs> impact number one. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I, I will become a devout follower of Impact Wrestling and I'll. I'll start building rings just for them. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that uh, that pretty much wraps everything up. Any final thoughts or last minute plugs before we go, Caden? Uh, just like the usual social media at KVR two one six. Officially, that is everything. No longer just some things at KVR two one six on everything now. How about you, Pam? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. I'll just say, yeah, boring person. <laughs> How about you, Pam? Um, so I'm pretty sure both my Instagram and Twitter are both Pamela Nicole. 
Uh, Pamela is a double A at the end, underscore N I C O L E E. Um, follow me if you want to see sad girl memes, cat shit, and wrestling. It's pretty much all I post. <laughs> I think you need to get a sad comp shirt. I think so. That's no longer their team name. Oh, it's not. Oh, I better, I better nope. get one now before it's vintage and prices go up. What's Thrift the new team? Jobber tries to rob me on it. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, Thrift Store. Let's say, kid. What's the new name? Did I miss uh, something? Oh, uh, yeah. They have changed their team name to. Uh, hold on. Uh, I kind of like that comp. It, it was good. I have to look at Koo's Twitter real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Violence is forever is their new tag name. Yeah, that works too. Also, very acceptable. Well. Yeah, also, I dig it. I mean, do you think if we, we bitch long enough, they'll change it back to sad comp? No. <laughs> this isn't the WWE. Well, half the time they didn't do it whenever people would bitch about a name. <laughs> My moral of that story is, I haven't. I don't know if I've ever heard of a name change that anybody's liked. And that's not even just wrestling. That's outside of wrestling. Oh, we're going to change the name of the Quick and Loan Arena to the... The Rocket, Rocket Fieldhouse. Yeah, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Everybody's like, ah, that's, that's strange. It's strange, but if we will start calling the Q the Rock, I'm for it. Wait, they changed the name of the Q? Yeah, like a month ago or so, almost? Yeah, right around there. Oh, I didn't even know that. It's like right after Mania Weekend, I think. Oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't even know. Eh, you were dying for Mania Weekend. It's all right. <laughs> Oh my god, so dead. Fucking drinks from White Eagle Hall about killed me. Uh, the venue staff about killed me. <laughs> Oxygen I about bet. kills you. Hey, <laughs> I'm not that bad anymore. <laughs> Better. That was savage. Well, Kid knows I love him. Brutal. Put up with me since 2011. Or 2012. 2012, yes. Yeah, 2012. Been a long time. You're like we've th- we already talked about this, young Caden. All right, you can find myself at Heavyset three three zero on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Much like you can find this show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook dot com slash wrestling cheers, Twitter dot com slash wrestling cheers, and Instagram dot com slash wrestling cheers. Email if you so choose to desire wrestling cheers at gmail dot com. We have the merch store over at whatamaneuver dot net. Please rate, review, and subscribe wherever you listen to fine podcasts, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or Podbean. Wrestling cheers. Dot podbean.com. Check out our friends on the Training Topics Network, such as All Beer Inside, Eurovision Showcase, Old School to Movies, and Wrestling with Altitude. Check out our other podcast friends, such as Pod Van Dam, The IndieCast, Center Stage, Sobros Network, Big Gold Belt Podcast, Spotlight Series, and I Got Your Five Stars. And check out our other non-podcasting friends, such as Thrift Store Jobber, The Savage Dash, Set Tab Photo, PowerSlam.tv. Use Wrestling Cheers, all one word, and get your first month free. Ringside Shots Photography, Sickening Pictures, Wrestle Void, Key on Sports, Stay Tough, Midwest Territory, Southern Underground Pro, and the official graphic designer of Wrestling Cheers, Moy Boy Designs. That will do it for Wrestling Cheers, where everybody knows your name, especially when you're a beast! Later. Goodbye. Okay, Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name And we're all these like you can You're a fake money, I'm not saying Rose are all the same You're a fake money, everybody knows your name Yeah!